Hi everyone, my name is Cyrus Sanzik and in this video in particular, I'm going to be showing you how to use PowerPoint in just 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so as you can see here, we have a bunch of different templates and you can just click on blank presentation to start. So then what you see here is we have a bunch of different tabs ranging from the home tab to the help tab. And in this home tab, we have the option to copy and paste. We also have the option to insert new slides. We can also change the layout if we want it to be a different layout. We can add sections if we want to rename it new section. And this just works as an organizing folder system for your PowerPoint deck. So if you want certain slides in certain sections you can do that you can also let's say you move this over here you want to reset it you can click reset and move back to the layout you originally had then what we have here is the font section so if I have here an example title then this will be highlighted and allow you guys to edit it so you can change the font if you'd like you can also bold it italicize underline there's also the shadow effect that gives a little bit of depth to the text if you have this highlighted you can then increase the spacing, make it all uppercase, capitalize, lowercase. You can also increase the size of the text by clicking on these two, or you can do control shift greater than sign to increase it or less than sign to decrease it. Then what we have here is highlight. So you can highlight the text any color you'd like. You can also change the color of the text. So let's say you want this text to be green. Now that's Green Bay Packers. I'm from Wisconsin, so it seems fitting. I did that on accident. Then what you can do is you can can also make it centered to the right to the left add a bullet point add a number you can indent it to the left or to the right you can also change the line height of it so let's say you have text here you highlight it this is going to change the line spacing between the text you can also add more than one columns you can also change the direction of the text so if you want to rotate it a different angle that is an option you can also convert to smart art so if you have test one test two test three and then you want to convert this to smart art that's a nice option to quickly create a visual for you guys all right so then what we have is we have this quick access to different shapes if you want to add in a shape really quickly you can also click on the shape and then add text here you can also arrange this shape so if you want to actually send to back now it's going to be behind all these text boxes you can also arrange it to be to the left or to the right also if you're wanting to distribute it horizontally you can just click on all these go here align distribute horizontally it's then going to space it out evenly horizontally you can also do it vertically you can also group objects if you want to do a range and then group you could also do control g to group objects as a shortcut then we have quick styles here if you want to change the styling of it really quickly you can also change the styling here and pick any color you want if you don't see the color you'd like you can go here to more colors and then pick it that way you could also do an eyedropper so if you like a certain color here you can eyedrop it and then it's going to change it to whatever that color is that you eye drop then you can also do shape effects give a little bit of a shadow effect you can find certain text so if you're trying to find the word test it'll show up here and then you can always do find next to find the next word and also replace them if you want to replace them with let's say cookies you can replace all now they're all replaced all right so moving on to then the insert tab you can insert new slides you can insert a table you can do pictures a screenshot even you can do a photo album if you want to insert a photo album different shapes icons they have a whole different library here of different icons you can pick from and search for then you can do 3d models if you have one from file smart art again different charts forms then they also have add-ins so if you want to add a special plugin for your powerpoint different zoom effects so this is a little bit more complex but i'll show this in our video then they have links they also have comments so if you want to add a comment you can do so here just hit enter and now you have a comment on your slide you add a text box you could also add a header and a footer they have word art different equations if you want to add them they have symbols that you can insert they have videos you can add even audio or even a screen recording next they have a drawing section so let's say you want to draw something like this you can then select it 
and you can also erase it if you don't want anymore. Next we have the design tab. So in this tab you can choose different layouts if you'd like. There's also a bunch here. You can browse more themes here as well. You can also choose the type of colors that are used for that theme here and the type of fonts, effects, background styles. You can also change the sizing of your PowerPoint. So 16 by 9 is a good rule of thumb just as a standard template. But you can also customize the slide size. So let's say you want to do eight and a half by 11. You could do that here. And now it looks like an actual piece of paper as your slide format. You could format background. So you could add a gradient, picture and text fill, or just do a solid fill. You then have transitions. So if you want from this slide to this slide to transition smoothly, you can do like a fade. So now it just fades in slowly. There's a bunch of different transition effects here. You also choose how long the duration is going to be and if you want a sound effect to be applied to it. And then we have animations. So you can add different animations to your slides. So let's say you want it to fly in. You could do that and feel free to play around with all the different animations with entrances and exits. If you want to see your animations, you can click on the animation pane here and then you can see what they look like. Then for slideshow, if you want to start from the beginning, you can click here and it's going to start your presentation from the first slide. You could also do from current slide. So if you're on slide three, you can click on that and then do from current slide. You can also do a custom slideshow. So if you only want certain slides to show, you can do that here. You can hide slides so that when you're in presentation mode, they're not actually going to show up. You can also right click here and click hide slides here. You can delete them, duplicate them, layouts, reset styles, format background. A bunch of features are available here as well. Copy it if you like it and then paste it in. And if you want the same exact format, just click on this option to keep formatting options. You can also record a slideshow if you want to share it with other people. Then for the review tab, we have ABC spelling. We also have translate, language, new comment. If you want to add that here, you can also delete comments. You can go and sift through previous or next comments. So if you have a bunch of comments here, do previous or next and it'll change here. You can compare two decks with each other and pick which parts of a previous deck you would want with this deck. I'm not going to go too much into that, but just know that is a feature on here. Then you can go in the view tab. So if you want to view your slide deck in a different way, you can do that here. So right now it's a normal view. You can do outline and it's going to show the notes. You can do slide sorter and this is going to show all of them in each section. And notes page so this is going to be where your notes are and then the slide reading view it's going to kind of be like an ebook all right so that is everything in the presentation views now we have master views so if you go into master view you can go here and edit your actual templates that you have and that way when you're choosing a layout it'll be customized to that template so let's say insert just a shape just for a simple scenario close out now on all these two templates you're going to see the shape here and i actually can't click on it unless i go back to to master view and get rid of it and now it's going to be gone all right so that's how you can kind of manipulate the master view you can also see handout master and notes master then here if you want to have rulers just to see where your text is lined up grid lines kind of faint but you can see them here you can also add in a new grid line if you'd like by right clicking and then add a vertical line you can also change the color of it if you'd like that way you can see a little bit better you also can click on your notes so if you have certain notes you want to say during presentation there's that there you can also zoom in so if you want to zoom in 400 percent you can do that if you also pinch with two fingers on your trackpad you can zoom in and out of your slide deck as well you can do fit to window to get back to the normal screen you can choose different color views of it so if you just want everything in grayscale you can do that as well you can do a new windows so now i have two separate windows and this just basically whatever i do on this one will happen on the left window as well so as you can see it moves up as well and you can choose how you want to arrange those two windows here and then lastly we have the help section so if you are confused on different features within powerpoint you can also go in here and search for whatever it is you're trying to find out about if it's animations you can search for commonly list things here as well and that will show you how to figure out how to do certain animations or how to animate text or objects in particular Whew. All right, so that is everything within the PowerPoint application. I tried to go as quickly as possible in showing you guys all the different tools and features in PowerPoint. But if you are wanting to take your time with this and learn all the best tools and features, I recommend checking out my PowerPoint Udemy course. 
I'll have all the details in the description below and there's also going to be a 90% discount available to you guys for making it all the way to end. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate the support. It helps me continue making videos like this for you guys. Leave in the comments if you found this helpful and what kind of videos you may be looking for in the future. So without further ado, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks.